University. Here's Brinkman. Cuts towards the middle. Brinkman tries to get through a couple defenders. Spins around. Takes a shot. Good save that time. A rebound that time by Crow. Ball still loose. Whistle finally blows. Gets it right over. Good cut. Good fake shot that time by Hickey. Gets it through traffic. Bounces around again. And whistle blows. So good break for the charge. To Shrek. Uh, leading goal scorer, whacked away a couple of times, rebound and scoring. Last time Hickey let it go and kind of uh, gets it to Caradona. Slides it right over to Brinkman with a high shot, knocking that one down as Integlia. Here's in these corners, sometimes they've slid it right to Brinkman, just like they did right here. Backhand pass towards Hickey, trickles, just gets by. And is a charger, here's Hickey, just to tosses it towards the middle. Gets it right up for Cameron. Cameron on the backhand. It just goes wide again. Teglia just decided to let that one go. Stop the momentum. Kicking this one away, however. Haven't said her name just yet. It was Abigail Campbell, the senior of Norfolk, Mass. Ran over it. Good pass, for, or good recovery. Passes to Crow. In on the shot. Rebound and scores! <laughs> Tries to throw it between the feet. Picked up by Ryder. Going the opposite way. Ryder down low. Tries to feed Bialco. Bialco turns around, doesn't get it through. Campbell kicks it away. And at the end of two overtimes, we will go to a shootout. Official blows the whistle. Whistle. Here comes Bialco. Coming out of that net is Campbell. Bialco goes to her right. Now spins around. Gets around Campbell for the goal. Here comes Brinkman. Going hard. Right on Integlia. Goes right. Left. Cuts back again. Puts it back. All tied up at one. This time, 1.8 seconds left. Going hard once again. Shrek. Campbell takes a whack at it. Regaining control with 0.4 seconds left. And that one will count. Weber. Who got the only goal in this game for the Skyhawks. Cuts right. Goes left. Bounces around and doesn't get it. Durkee going hard right on Campbell. Goes left, right. Campbell dives down, puts it in the back of the net. And now it is 3-1. Here's your leading goal scorer for the Skyhawks. Reagan Hickey cutting down and left. Stops, spins around, makes it look silly, and makes it 3-2. The men's varsity football team has now joined the student athletes section. Coming down, one on oh. Campbell takes a swipe of it. Two seconds, one second. Horn sounds, so Campbell does the job. And that will obviously be no goal. And here comes Madeline McGee from Pearl River, New York. Going to her right, now left, stops, gets the momentum, and flips it over and back in the net. Tie game. Coming down, here's Alexis Ryder, right on Campbell, going hard to her left. Has an opening. One second. Campbell does the job again. Mon with a chance to be the hero. Cuts left. Has her on her toes. Slides her right in the back of the net. Stonehill wins in a shootout. Obviously, that was a lot of hockey, but that was a big team win. It came from everyone, so we're obviously really excited, and it's a good step moving forward for us. Um, I'd say everybody was really excited. Uh, we were in it, and we came from behind, so I think that we just knew that we couldn't let this one go. Um, I think moving off of this, that will build some momentum uh, that we've been clearly lacking, and I think that the whole team's excited to be playing together, and th we're back to the beginning of the season, how we were playing then, so I'm excited. I mean, honestly, I'm pumped. It's the same game, just a lot less girls on the field, and um, knowing that like, I have to be there for all my teammates, and you know, just because there were no shots during the regular time doesn't mean they're going to come right back down to get a lot more. So just keeping my head in the game and be able to talk to my girls from the back, I think it's just mentality is what won this game, so. So psyched. These are pretty cool for goalies and the most stressful. Um, you definitely just can't let like that first goal just get to your head like and keep going forward. And you know, these are just what it comes down to, one-on-ones -on -one with field hockey. So we practice these a lot, and I think it showed today just how much that we can execute on the field. Again, it's like keeping that same mentality the whole time. Like you can't change like your tactics, whatever. You just gotta, you know, dig in and keep going. Um, you know, and Again, knowing that like I just have to get the first shot and then my defenders are right back there down with me is huge. 
You know, our team, you know, the NE10, I love it because everyone here comes to play and we have such a tough conference. You know, we came off a really tough week, you know, with two games not coming our way, going into this game. You know, New Haven's one of the top teams in this pro in this conference too, and bringing it to overtime, shootouts, you know, our first shootouts of the year. So the girls really stepped up and were able to, to put it away when, when we needed them to, so. You know, all season we've been going one game at a time and, you know, going into our game on Saturday, it's the biggest game of the season because it's the next game. So we just have to make sure that we get the job done. We have to take tomorrow, Friday. Um, today was really hard, you know, battle, very gritty team for both us and New Haven. So I think that, you know, we have to just make sure that we take care of our bodies and, and get ready for the next one.